everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my beautiful people really appreciate you do not take your support for granted we we'll pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is an interesting one we know Sheikh gumi the islamic cleric um, who claims that um, he's uh, <laughs> he's he's always going to speak with bandits and terrorists just to see how to end the current um, crisis the current insecurity we've been going through we know uh at the end of the day we've not seen any result from his meetings with all of these bandits and so far um, nigerians and politicians as well have called on the president to actually get hold of this uh check gumi because we don't know what he's doing he goes there to speak to the bandits he comes out with um, what the bandits want but at the end of the day they still carry out killings they still carry out kidnappings it's so sad so so sad the report we've got right now is that um, Sheikh Gumi has actually met with former president um, Obasanjo, Lushegu Obasanjo. You know, there has been talks of agitations, the country splitting, division, no unity anywhere. Um, Sheikh Gumi meets with uh, former president um, Obasanjo. We'll find out all the details, what um, their meeting entails, what they talked about, because Sheikh Gumi is the one who goes to bandits. And Obasanjo, on the other hand, we know he represents, I don't know if he's fully in support of Odudua Republic, but we know he's from the southwestern part of the country where the crisis has been brewing. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, click on the notification bell, guys. Press that bell. It really does mean a lot to us. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. Sheikh Ahmad Gumi has disclosed what transpired in the meeting he had with ex-president Olushe Gumobasenjo on Sunday. Newsmen had reported that Gumi and some religious leaders held a meeting with the former president in Abiyokuta, Ogun State's capital. At the end of the meeting, both men issued a statement on what they disclosed. Gumi said he invited Obasenjo to Kaduna where he is based. And the ex-president accepted the invitation. He said the two of them demanded establishment of special courts to deal promptly with cases of banditry, kidnappings, ransom demanding and unlawful carrying of weapons. In the 21-point recommendations, Obasanjo and Gumi urged the federal government to take the issue of insecurity within ECOWAS in order to seek a regional solution. They also caution Nigerians to desist from blame game, ethnicizing and religionizing crimes, and urge respect for one another, individually, community-wise, locally, ethnically, religiously, and socially. They said, federal government must be proactive, secure necessary and updated intelligence to deal with organized crimes and have common police for the nation. It is not solving the problem when one state goes for negotiation and molly coding of criminals and another one person goes for shooting them. Nor should one state go for ransom payment and another one going against. Education is one main key to solve the problem in the long run, but it must start now. The 14 million children that should be in school are out of school and must be put in school with local authorities, state governments, and federal government working together. When those who are ready to be weaned out of the bushes and crime settle and rehabilitate them, give them skills, empower them, and let them have employment. The hardened criminals must be hard hit with stick. Unlawful carrying of arms should be very seriously punished. Federal government should take the issue up seriously with ECOWAS to work for a regional solution. Every community must be encouraged and empowered to stand firm and strong against criminals. Special courts should be created to deal promptly with cases of banditry, kidnapping, ransom demanding and unlawful carrying of weapons. Let the slogan be, security is the responsibility of all Nigerians. We agree to continue to work together for solutions for the security of Nigeria and to seek others to join us 
As we widely circulate our joint statement to this end, Sheikh Gumi has extended an invitation to Chief Olusegun Obasanjo to visit Kaduna with a view to continuing the discourse started today and Chief Obasanjo has graciously accepted. We concluded that to keep Nigeria safe and secure for all Nigerians and others living in Nigeria is a tax that all well-meaning Nigerians must engage in separately and collectively. Both of us resolve that we would not relent in our efforts. The delegation on both sides acceded to this statement. We agreed to meet again in due course to re-examine progress and situation of security in Nigeria. Gumi, who arrived at Obasanjo's residence at 11 a.m., left alongside his team at 4 p.m. Gumi came with a delegation of eight, Professor Usman Yusuf, Malam Tukor, Mamu, Dr. Umar Ado, Dr. Ibrahim Abdullahi, Honorable Suleiman Gumi, Alaji Suleiman Yakubu, and Mala Buba Mohammed. Obasanjo received Gumi and his delegation in the presence of Oba Babajide Bakri, Agura of Bagura, Abiokuta, Bishop Tunde, Akin Akinsaya, Chairman of Ogun State Christian Association of Nigeria, Sheikh Saab. Dla Alade Bami Bola, Chief Imam of Egbaland, Chief Kenny Martins, Chief Olababajide Jayeoba, Reverend Tony Ujeshina, Chief Imams of Okeona, Bagura, Owo, and Mr. Vitalis Utishe. Sheikh Gumi, he has uh, brought up all of these things. We know um, Sheikh Gumi is the same person who is stating that uh, <laughs> that uh, unrepentant uh, um, terrorists should be taken back into the society. You know, we kicked against that, that that is not going to happen. They are unrepentant and you're saying that we should, we should bring them into the society. They've said a lot of things here, but uh, I don't know how they are going to deal with this because I cannot understand. You know, Sheikh Gumi, before this time, he, he claims that whenever he goes to visit these bandits, he doesn't go as an authority or as a, uh, he goes as a clergy as a cleric he goes there as a spiritual leader to try to speak to them of their sins to for them to turn away have they turned away right now he's uh he's had a meeting with obasanjo and they've decided that uh, this is what they need to do to bring lasting peace to the country how well this one is going to work i don't know the president is not in the country right now he's away from the country in the midst of all of this crisis they are the ones even setting up the crisis so the crisis is not new to them anymore Anyway, guys, uh, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.